Hello, welcome to another Math Minutes with Mr. Chu. So my Math Minute videos are just short videos that give you practice and you can take and look and see if you understand. And then it also gives you a challenge problem at the end that you can work on and see how that works. All right, so now let me go over here and let me tell it to stop. All right, so I have a fancy new tripod that follows me. All right, so if I want to solve an equation with a variable, I misspelled variable, variable in the exponent, how do you solve that? All right, so what we have to do is we have to figure out how can I get the same base on both sides? Well, one way to do that is to take your 27, the bigger number, and then write the factors. Well, see how it's got three times three times three? So that means that's three to the third power. So I can rewrite this. So let's rewrite it with the same base. So I'm gonna write my three. I'm gonna write this three to the third power because that's 27. And now I'm gonna raise it to the X power. All right, so the law of exponents, and I'm gonna call it the law of indices, same thing. When you have a power raised to a power, you multiply them. So that's three to the three times X, which means it's to the three X power. Well, what power is this three to? So the first power, right? So the law of indices, or a rule of exponents, is if the base is the same, then the exponents will be equal. So I can say 1 equals 3x, because I have the same base. How do I solve for x? I divide both sides by 3 using the division property of equality. So in this example, I have... The threes that cancel, and x equals one-third. So that's what I'm saying the answer is. What does that actually mean? Well, that means that we're saying that three equals 27 to the one-third power. Well, is that true? Well, what's one-third power mean? That means the cube root of 27. So what multiplied by itself three times will give me 27. Well, here we go. Three times three times three. So three equals three. Check. Okay. So now what are we going to do? First of all, like this video. Second of all, subscribe. Subscribe right now. I need for you to subscribe in my... Um, I need for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that it will get out to more people. Up here is going to be a link, and it's going to have another problem. All right, I'm going to erase the check here, and I'm going to write the other problem up here. I want you to pause the video, work the, work the problem, and then click on the link at the end to see if you did it right. So, and I'll call this, it's just another problem like it. It's like I'm challenging you. So if I have four... And this is challenge problem. So 4 equals 8 to the x power. So I'll do it just like this one and solve it. Pause it now, work it, and there'll be a link over here. Remember, these are math minutes with Mr. Chu. I want you to understand how to solve equations, even if it's got an exponent with a variable. So remember, I'm Mr. Chu, and I want to help you learn the math. So we'll see you in the next video.